Paul Heise was a German writer and translator who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1910. He was born on March 15, 1830, in Berlin, Germany, and passed away on April 2, 1914, in Munich, Germany. Heise was of German nationality and is considered one of the leading figures of German literature in the late 19th century. He was known for his versatility as a writer, having written novels, novellas, poetry, and plays. His magnum opus is the novel Kinder der Welt, Children of the World, published in 1873. The novel explores themes of love, relationships, and the conflicts between personal desires and societal expectations. It showcases Heise's skill in portraying the human condition and his keen observation of social dynamics. Heise's award-winning career was honored with the Nobel Prize in Literature, recognizing his extensive body of work and his contributions to German literature. Maurice Maeterlinck was a Belgian playwright, poet, and essayist who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1911. He was born on August 29, 1862, in Ghent, Belgium, and passed away on May 6, 1949, in Nice, France. Maeterlinck was of Belgian nationality and is known for his symbolist works that explored themes of spirituality, mysticism, and the human condition. He played a significant role in the symbolist movement, which aimed to convey emotions and ideas through symbolic and suggestive language. His magnum opus is the play Pelias E.T. Melisande, first performed in 1893. The play revolves around the complex relationships and tragic fate of its main characters delving into themes of love, fate, and the elusive nature of human connection. Pelia's E.T. Melisande is considered a landmark work in symbolist drama. Gerhard Hauptmann was a German playwright, novelist, and poet who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1912. He was born on November 15, 1862, in Obersalsbrunn, Silesia, now Poland, and passed away on June 6, 1946, in Agnieszko, Poland. Hauptmann was of German nationality and is considered one of the most prominent figures in German literature of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He is known for his naturalistic approach and his exploration of social issues and human psychology. His magnum opus is the play Die Weber, The Weavers, first performed in 1892. The play depicts the struggles of Silesian weavers during a time of industrialization and social unrest. It highlights the exploitation of the working class and the power dynamics within society. Die Weber is considered one of Hauptmann's most significant works and a seminal play of German naturalism. Rabindranath Tagore, also known as Guru Dev, was an Indian poet, philosopher, musician, and polymath who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. He was born on May 7. 1861, in Kolkata, India, formerly Calcutta, British India, and passed away on August 7, 1941, in Kolkata. Tagore was of Indian nationality and is considered one of the most influential figures in Bengali literature and Indian cultural history. He was a prolific writer in various genres, including poetry, short stories, novels, and plays. Tagore's works were often characterized by their lyrical beauty, profound spirituality, and exploration of human emotions and relationships. His magnum opus is the collection of poems titled Gitanjali, Song Offerings, published in 1910. Gitanjali is a compilation of Tagore's poems, originally written in Bengali and later translated into English. Romain Roland was a French writer, historian, and musicologist who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1915. He was born on January 29, 1866, in Clamacy, France, and passed away on December 30, 1944, in Vézelay, France. Roland was of French nationality and is renowned for his extensive literary works that encompassed a wide range of genres, including novels, essays, plays, and biographies. He was deeply influenced by his studies in history, philosophy, and music. His magnum opus is the novel Jean Christophe, published in multiple volumes between 1904 and 1912. The novel follows the life and artistic journey of its titular character, Jean Christophe Kraft, an aspiring musician. Through Jean Christophe's story, Roland explores themes of love, art, spirituality, and social justice.
Jean Christophe is considered Roland's most significant and influential work. Werner von Haydenstam was born on July 6, 1859, in Alshamer, Sweden, and passed away on May 20, 1940, in Ovralid, Sweden. He was a Swedish poet, novelist, and essayist. Werner von Haydenstam's magnum opus is considered to be his poetic collection Hans Aelinus, 1892, in which he delves into themes of love, nature, and the complexities of the human experience. This work showcases his mastery of the Swedish language and his ability to evoke vivid imagery and emotions. Haydenstam's award-winning career was recognized with the Nobel Prize in Literature, honoring his contributions to Swedish literature and his profound influence on the literary scene of his time. He was a prominent figure of the Swedish literary movement known as the Gothenburg Circle and is considered one of the pioneers of modern Swedish literature. Henrik Pontapadan was a Danish author who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1917. He was born on July 24, 1857, in Fredericia, Denmark, and passed away on August 21, 1943, in Ordrup, Denmark. Pontapadan was of Danish nationality and is known for his realistic and socially critical works that examined the complexities of Danish society during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His magnum opus is the novel Leekeeper, Luckeeper, published in several volumes between 1898 and 1904. The novel tells the story of Persidenius, a young man from a strict religious background who embarks on a journey of self-discovery and ambition. Through Per's struggles and successes, Pontapadan explores themes of religion, social class, and the clash between individual desires and societal expectations. Carl Adolf Gellerup was a Danish poet and novelist who shared the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1917 with Henrik Pontapadan. He was born on June 2, 1857, in Reholt, Denmark, and passed away on October 11, 1919, in Klotzsch, Germany. Gellerup was of Danish nationality and is known for his literary contributions that spanned various genres, including poetry, novels, and plays. He was associated with the modern breakthrough movement in Danish literature, which sought to challenge established conventions and explore new themes and styles. His magnum opus is the novel Minna, 1889, which tells the story of a young Danish woman who travels to Italy and becomes involved in an intense love affair. The novel addresses themes of love, passion, and spirituality and showcases Gellerup's keen observations of human emotions and relationships. Karl Spittler was a Swiss poet and novelist who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1919. He was born on April 24, 1845, in Leistal, Switzerland, and passed away on December 29, 1924, in Lucerne, Switzerland. Spittler was of Swiss nationality and is considered one of the leading figures in Swiss literature. His works explored various themes, including spirituality, nature, and the complexities of human existence. His magnum opus is the epic poem Olympian Spring, published in 1900. This ambitious work consists of five books and delves into the mythological and historical themes related to ancient Greece. Olympian Spring showcases Spittler's poetic prowess and his ability to combine grandeur with intimate reflections on life and humanity. Knut Homsen, born Knut Peterson, was a Norwegian author and Nobel Prize laureate in literature. He was born on August 4, 1859, in Lom, Norway, and passed away on February 19, 1952, in Grimstad, Norway. Homsen was of Norwegian nationality and is considered one of the most influential and controversial figures in Norwegian and Scandinavian literature. His works explored the complexities of human psychology and delved into the themes of love, desire, and the conflicts between individualism and societal norms. His magnum opus is the novel Salt, Hunger, published in 1890. Salt tells the story of a starving and struggling writer in Christiania, now Oslo, and provides a raw and introspective portrayal of his psychological turmoil and desperate attempts to survive. 